All right, so today we're going to use air pressure to calculate the force of gravity. Now, look over here. The force of gravity is equal to mass times the g. The g is equal to 9.8 meters per second. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the ping pong ball that weighs 0.1 ounces on here. And then we're going to turn the hair dryer on. And the force at which the hair dryer pushes and the gravity which pushes down, when they are equal, the ball will hover. And somehow, we will figure out the force of gravity. I don't know how. Got a ruler and the thing. Alright, you ready? The thing. The, yes, the thing. Alright. It doesn't work very well. No, this is not going to work, is it? What is not? Maybe we should get mom's a good hair dryer. Yes, we should. Do you think she'll allow it? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we won't tell her. <laughs> Alright. This is the Infinity Pro. Wait, the Infinite Eye Pro by Conair. Alright, cool. Now, Those are awesome. this one, we're just going to put the ball back on it. Are you ready? Go. Exactly the same amount of force, the gravity pushes it down, then the force must equal the hair dryer. So that means that the hair dryer equals mg. And if the ball weighs 0 0.0 or 0 0.1 ounces, we'll write that here. And gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, then h equals. Something. <laughs> so maybe you should go to school-science.us and get a real science experiment. Because we are not good at them. <laughs> we, we fail at them. Now what are we going to do? Can you oh, we should use, have an idea, we should use a leaf blower. And oh, yeah. A leaf blower. <laughs> yeah. 